Well, what was the spark that led you to study science, and who were, if any, were the role models at the time for you? Well, um, bumblebees got me started. I used to collect live bumblebees. I didn't like dead insect collections. And so I used to study the bumblebees and change their diets and, and look at how their rhythms, circadian rhythms and so on would change depending on the amount of light or darkness they were exposed to. And so that got me very interested in the natural world. But uh, my father was actually quite gifted mechanically and mathematically and he inspired my interest in math. And I have to tell you a little quick story about my father. Some have heard it. My father was in a segregated unit during World War II. He was actually at Normandy. And uh, the rudders on the landing vehicles, the amphibious landing vehicles, would break. And he figured out a way, which no one else did, to do a special mechanical splice that held. And he could do it with almost any kind of cable. And in the end, that saved a lot of lives, and, and he won a, a bronze star for oh, that. Wow. And he never talked about it. We would always see a, we saw a picture of him when we were growing up with the first black general, Benjamin O. Davis, and we always wondered why that was. And then finally, he told us the story, and then my sister, one of my sisters, researched that, and, and we found out the whole story. So they actually would teach his technique in the theater in France and to uh, folks who would be working uh, on mechanical things before they left the, the US. And so he was a big inspiration, even though my father actually did not finish high school. And then my mother, uh, both of them, but my mother was the one who focused us on the language arts and reading very early. And they both believed very strongly. So. You could say I didn't have a direct role model to become a scientist, but my parents were my uh, aspirational role models. And it was my father who always said, aim for the stars wow. so you can reach the treetops and at least you get off the ground. <laughs>